In Japanese, sugoi means incredible. And since Carol Prantner graduated from the Kwantlen Fashion Program in 1982, she's been on one incredible ride. Carol, an avid cyclist, and her partner, David Hollins, founded Sugoi Performance Apparel and grew the company from two to over 200 employees. We realized that there was a need for locally manufactured, designed cycle clothing. So that was about 1985, 86, and uh, we haven't looked back since. Kwantlen certainly provided me with a great background in all aspects of garment manufacturing, from making a pattern, sizing that pattern, garment construction, fabric choices, mass production, or the, the ability to understand um, how to produce more than one garment at a time, and then how to construct the garments in a high quality manner. I think that's probably one of the most valuable things. Over the years, Carol has given back to the Kwantlen community by actively participating in curriculum development, mentoring fashion students, hiring and coaching fashion graduates, and serving on the Fashion Advisory Committee. I should mention that Carol did a lot with our program. She was very, um, very open to us bringing students into her factory and she showed us her sublimation department, the factory floor, she took us through the area where they created the graphics. Mary and Julie have been a great support through the process and we've hired a lot of Kwantlen grads at Segoy. Um, last count was 15. It's an inspirational place and environment and uh, they've, you know, especially in the fashion program, they've done a wonderful job of keeping up with technology and making sure that the students that graduate um, are up to speed on the, all the new programs, all the new services that we need in the industry. In 2005, Segoy was purchased by Cannondale, and Carol left the company to pursue the next ride of her life. Well, I'd like to thank Kwantlen for uh, supporting Segoy over the, the many years, and uh, certainly by providing um, a Vancouver-based program that um, puts back into the community.